Hi everyone, Andre from Chromefx Films here, and welcome to part 7 of my 2D game development tutorial series. So let's jump right in. In this video, I'm going to be uh, programming a score keeping system. So we're going to have coins placed around the map, and then we're going to be able to pick them up, and the game will store that data. Uh, so potentially down the line, we could um, end up having upgrades, or even um, you have to collect a certain amount of coins in order to unlock the next stage. But that will be uh, later on. So let's drag in a coin object. Let's see if I have any coin sprites here. Coin gold, there you go. Let's add it in. Change its sorting layer. Nice. Make it more coin shape. There you go. All right, let me animate it really quick. have it resize or actually we could let's let's there's a way you can create an illusion of it spinning so instead of making it grow we'll just change it to oh wrong wrong axis zero so look now it'll look like it's spinning see that but all we're doing is actually just resizing it the way that you can play with the mind in 2d games we'll tag it create a new tag Call it coin. Let me create a game object that stores all these so we can have it organized. Let me organize the spikes while I'm at it too. Tag it as coin. I believe I tagged it earlier. And we'll place these around the map. Oh, we got to make sure we have a collider on it too first. So these, we're going to make sure um, that these are tagged. All right, they're tagged. So let's open up the script for the move player. All right, let's create a new function for the trigger. There we go. This is the function that I typed just about a minute ago. And there you go. So it's going to be uh, if the trigger type, so if your player is touching, compare tag is, again, touching um, the coin, we're going to add one to our coin variable that we don't have yet. But let's set it up at the top. We will set this at zero. And we will destroy that coin that you touch. Alright, let's see if it works. Alright, I'm going to make a so you can jump really high so we can avoid this wall. There you go. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that uh, we picked up the coin. Let's add some more around the map. But what we could do is we can add a uh, an area down here that you can drop to that has more coins that could be only accessible by um, a key. But we'll just have a, another area that you can drop down to. So we'll remove that rock. There you go. And the plant. And move the bush. There you go. It's the fun with uh, tiling in 2D. You're able to play around with these kinds of settings and create your 
environments. Now the problem is there's no way to get back up. So we can do this a few different ways. Um, there is, let's see, how can we do this? This is the uh, the troubles when game developing. You have to solve problems. That's that's what what half of game developing is. Hmm. Well, let's see if the player can fit there. Let me make it behind them. So the textures don't blend the, the best, but let's spawn the player over here. See what this looks like. Oh, that's right. I have a collider. So that means I have to add a collider on these other blocks. Fill in that gap. There you go. Now let's see if it works. So we can fall in. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, the fallout is waiting for us. So we'll have to adjust it so it's only where the player can actually fall out of. For whatever reason, the player might go out that far. And we'll probably fall through again since there's no collider, right? Add a collider like we've been doing. Do this really quick. We could be efficient, but eh. All right. All right. So that works. Uh, can we get out? Oh, we gotta tag it to the ground. And we can't jump out. But let's see, how can we make it so you can't? Oh, oh, that was cool. All right. Well, let's just do that and make that a little more obvious. And a little ledge here that players can jump onto. See if that works. Yep, there you go. I like that. Very cool. Now we'll go get those coins we had earlier. And we'll move it down here. So this is basically the jackpot. If you get down here, you get a whole bunch of coins. I like it. A couple coins up here. And, and, and there's the flag. So let's set a variable on the flag. So if we touch, let's just add it down here. If we touch the finish point, actually, let's see there's a tag ready. Yep, finish. Finish is already a tag, it's capital F. Then we will, are we, do we already have a script talking to the other? No, we don't have another script talking to the other, um, the other script like we have here. But actually we can. Oh, okay, we'll just set the uh, move speed. So if you touch the finish, we're going to have it so the the speed of the player is equal to zero and the jump power is also equal to zero. So basically the game, it's going to simulate that the game freezes and we'll have a basically you win screen pop up. Let's see if that works. Let's find that flag. Give it a, uh, was that in trigger that I did? No, it was collider. So we'll give it this collider.
can put it on the floor. And move the player over here. Alright, let's try it. Hmm, nothing happened. Because we didn't tag it. It helps to tag it. There you go. And we can't move. Uh, so it freezes like that. We can still walk, but... Uh, I don't know. I like, I like the way it is. Let's make it so the flag appears behind the player, though. Looks a little distracting. Well, let's make it zero, then. There you go. Oh, that looks a little fun. Okay, negative five. So there's no way something can appear in front of it. All right, and I like the way that this looks. So now we got coins. We got a way that you can win. And oh, you can fall out and you respawn. And we have the secret area with all the coins. So now it's keeping track of the score. And we'll just keep adding uh, the, the HUD display and just keep adding details as we go along. We still got to... Um, program the checkpoints and the sound effects so can't wait to get for the next video and thanks for watching guys and i hope i'll see you in the next video